Now we are going to see the video in the flex cell how we do make in the flex cell a scrap beam. These are the parts and this is the screen of the flex cell. This is screen of the flex cell is just a monitor because the controller of this flex cell is just behind this screen. And you see in the in this controller distribute the programs to the panel vendor and we'll show you the screen how to reference the parts and then the panel vendor it will start bending the part which is required and here in the screen I'll show you where is the waiting panel back kit number two these are the parts in the screen where it should be manufactured. Okay. So this video again to show the combination between the panel vendor and the press brake. And you will see here in the press brake the lights start blinking telling that the next operation after this when this part when this panel finished it has to go to the press brake so the part is finished here and see in the controller immediately telling that this part has to go to the panel bender and show you exactly what is the position of the part of the panel bender of the part on the reference point so the operator dropped the part on the press point and he took this part to the press brake. The program to the, the essential program has been transferred to the press brake directly to make the suitable bend and this press brake is with automatic tool adjustment. It's a 100 ton 3 meter with automatic tool adjustment. So the automatic that tool already adjusted to the required bend and now we have made the first part meanwhile we have seen that the, this part is finished and the panel bend the operator picked the part from the table he know what is the required part and he put it on the according to the reference point and this time he moved to the press brake and he just pressed the pedal the press brake set up exactly the bending length according to this part. You see this part, after bending it becomes this part. Now on this part, on the left side, it will go to the panel bender. Okay, and we can see here in the press brake, the press brake is setting up itself and make it, make it suitable for the next part. Now the operator pick one part drop it according to the draw to the reference point and he goes to the press brake so we can see the operator is just handling the parts from the from the table here he just follow the instructions on the screen to do, to drop the parts in the panel bender to do the part and then finish the part if required if required on the press brake and the press brake setup okay we can see here the panel bender is finished and make the part is ready the program automatically transferred to the panel bender and positioned in the screen according to the position point and we can see here the operator is finishing the third part third part is with this gentleman is okay this is the third part again same point by sequence so the operator is just following the screen and following the sequence just to, to do what the controller requires. So, so let us suppose that in the production, operator is really not aware what he has, what he has to produce because the software here put in sequence, in the proper sequence, the part which need to be produced in order to have the best efficiency, the best efficiency of the both machines, not to one, one of these machines to keep idle. Okay. 
see now this is the screen and this is the screen of the of the controller the actual controller is here the actual controller is here for the flex cell and this is the screen just put it to the show just to let the customers i mean yeah the spectators to see what is required this machine has automatic tool adjustment and the V-Die is just a normal V a normal V-Die but also adjustable operator here just pick the part put it over the reference point Part went to the first to the pick another part, prepare, preparing it. This part doesn't need any press brake, this part is really finished. So just drop another one. And take it to the assembly card. Here is the best solution to overcome the limitation of the panel bender by press brake and to have kit production. You see here in the screen show us the parts which is finished. Here the production completed and the production completed on the first brake and the panel bender. This is the last part. Okay, we can see now how the, this operator is assembling the stretch pin. Just thanks to the special bending capacity that we can make some bend and we can make some special designs that we have now an assembly for scrap pin without any riveting without any welding we will see the part how at the end finished there are some design techniques to make some extra material that they can could be bent manually just to join two panels together he's using this small allen key just to bend this extra let me say tabs when you see the tabs is here just he bend it by his hand to put this in, to join these two panels together mm, okay and this is the base check check okay again he used this allen key just to just to bend this extra material to help joining the two panels together in so many applications this is more than enough Fantastic. And then he put finally the base. Fantastic. Let us have more close view of this. Mm -hmm. We can bend here, we can bend here. Okay, we will have another view prospection here. Okay. 
hacen esto. Ok, thank you for watching.